Hi guys, and welcome to the channel, Ron's Keto Cafe, and I'm Ron. If you're new, welcome, and if you're a returning member, welcome back. And if you're a new member, could you please share, like, and smash that subscribe button. It definitely helps uh, my channel grow, and it helps other members know when I'm posting videos. Well, today we're going to be making a uh, cheese cracker and with almond flour and a couple of rice and cheese, Parmesan cheese, and... Uh, chopped cheddar cheese and uh, these came out really really great this recipe comes to you from uh keto connect and uh matt and uh, megan yeah they got a really great youtube channel now i'll have the link below the uh, show more but uh this recipe was pretty easy to make uh just call for basically a cup of almond flour and a couple of different cups of uh cheeses and i'll have the exact uh ingredients over the end timeline as i'm talking and uh so without further ado why don't we just go right into the uh video and uh, enjoy the uh video recipe and uh anyways don't forget to like share and subscribe well to speed things along guys we're going to be using the uh, food processor today today we're using a uh, kitchen aid food processor and uh if you haven't got a food processor uh, blender would work or just probably mixing it up in a bowl with a spatula would be fine so without further ado let's just go right into the recipe okay guys so this recipe calls for one cup of almond flour three quarters of a cup of sh shredded chopped cheese a fourth of a cup of shredded parmesan cheese a pinch of salt a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder and a fourth of a teaspoon of italian seasoning and if it's too dry after you mix it, you can add a little bit of uh, water. We ended up adding about four tablespoons of water to get it to the uh, texture that I was looking for so I could get everything all uh, into a dough mixture and, and once I put it into my uh, mixing bowl and then I put it in between two sheets of parchment paper and then I rolled it out into a rectangular shape. I, at th then I transferred it onto a sheeting pan. At that point, I didn't uh, cut my cracker. Just what I did was I ended up putting it in the oven at 350 for about 12 minutes. I popped them out of the oven, and then once they cooled, then I cut it into cracker shapes, and I put it onto the uh, cooling rack, and then I uh, broke them off and plated it, and these came out really, really great. Now, they... Uh, they didn't snap like regular crackers. They were kind of like more like a chewy crack uh, taste. Yeah, but they really tasted really good and flavorable. So I was, if you want to make this, I guess if you got a better solution for me, let me know in the show more. I'd be glad to try some different recipes. But these really look great for a late afternoon snack when you're hungry and you don't feel like, uh, you know, wasting your money on any of the store-bought uh, processed foods, which, uh, you know, we're trying to avoid right now because all the carbs that are in those are the bad... Uh, products that they put in those particular foods there. When I'm making recipes like this there, I'm looking to eat healthy and I'm trying to just keep uh, the weight down and off as best I can and uh, continue to lose weight. And uh, yeah, so just follow me along guys and you'll be fine. Once I had the uh, dough texture the way I wanted it, I dumped it onto the parchment paper and then I was starting to work it into a rectangular shape with the uh, rolling pin in between two sheets of parchment paper. And then what I was doing was to get it to uh, the shape that I wanted. I took the uh, parchment paper, like you see me over here doing in the video. I'm just folding in it to make a nice uh, straight crust there around the uh, outer edges. You could could have left it like that, really, but uh, you know I'm, I'm trying to look for perfection when I'm cooking, you know, doing these uh, videos. This is all trial and error. Every time I'm cooking uh, or working with a recipe from a YouTuber. Sometimes they come out, sometimes they don't, and uh, so that's the fun part about learning how to cook there. Like I said, I uh, just got me follow me along with the next uh, step process, and I'm gonna flatten it out a little bit in my hand because I wanted everything to hold the shape pretty well, the best they could. And then I used a piece of wheel cutter uh, once they came out of the oven before it completely cooled to. Uh, make it easier for them to break apart and uh yeah and this came out really really great i really enjoy making these recipes for you guys and uh don't be afraid to experiment and this is over here what i'm doing is i'm just uh, trying to flatten it out a little bit more to try to get a little more uh smoother in the, the uh before i pop that into the oven and then i'm over here i'm going to be transferring it onto a sheeting pan and uh Pop that baby in the oven at 350 degrees on a preheated oven for about 12 minutes. I would start watching them around the eight minute mark. And if you wanted a little more crunchier, you could leave it in a little bit longer. And you could also uh, 
maybe put a little bit of cooking oil spray on the top of it before you put it in the oven and uh, probably put a little bit of uh, paprika on there or a cayenne pepper or, or anything like that to make it a little spicy. I have to really be careful with spices right now, guys, because my stomach is just totally uh, blowing up every time I have uh, even something simple like garlic powder and onion powder. And I really love spices, but I just can't eat them. And yeah, these kind of look like they were a little bit loose, but uh, you know, give this recipe a thumbs up. And uh, again, don't forget to go over there to uh, Keto Connect and support Matt and Ray, uh, Matt and uh, Megan there. They got a really great YouTube channel, and they're always putting up constant uh, videos and talking about their family events with their uh, kid Theo and. Uh, yeah, they got a great uh, channel, and uh, I enjoy watching other YouTubers as well as creating videos for my own channel for you guys to enjoy. And again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Love you guys. Have a great day, and uh, thanks for watching.